All right, guys, welcome to Khan Academy and Pixar Part 4. I know you're probably getting a little bit tired of this stuff, but there's still this week and next week, and then we'll be done with it. And then we'll be focused on more of the hands-on activity aspects, which I'm sure y'all will much prefer, because they are pretty fun, especially the uh, <clears throat> drawing one. So let's get started with this. Uh, first thing we're going to work on is environmental modeling, rendering, and then simulation. So I'm just going to show those to you real quick. So it says, discover how we can create parabolic arcs by weaving together straight lines. This lesson touches on midpoints and takes 45 to 60 minutes to complete. Plus, there's a hands-on activity in. Now, all these hands-on activities, we're going to wait until week six. Hopefully, more people from the virtual are back in class so we can do this. Because if not, it would be a lot more, it would be a lot harder for us to do. And this might be the one we may, we may not do because this one of the activities uh, depending on needles and thread, and I just see a whole bunch of y'all poking y'all's fingers and it just not being a fun time. At least not a fun time for me because y'all going to be, ow, I hurt my finger. So <clears throat> let's might avoid that one. So here, uh, you'll start here. You have two videos, activity, two, three videos, activity, animating grass, activity, and stuff like that. That that one's fun too. And the part down here is a little bit more difficult, but again, you don't have any activities on this one. You do have questions, but don't stress about questions. If you just want to watch it, the videos and move on, you are more than welcome to do so, okay? Do not stress over this stuff. <clears throat> now, rendering. Now, when we watched that video back in week one, it talked about how rendering could take up to 24 hours just for one screen, just for one little set. Uh, so it takes a long time to do it. So here is what you start with to learn what it is. And again, this section is just all videos and getting to know Susan Fong, who is the main person at Pixar who does it. And here are the mathematics behind rendering. While you see programs and things like that, there are high-level math behind 2D and 3D animations. And there's practice. Act these are, I believe these are practice. Yeah, this question's here. There's no activities on this one either, so you can just watch them and understand what they do. So if you want to answer questions and get more energy points, by all means do it. But again, this part is not graded, so it's just you watching and learning. That's all it is. So hair simulation. When we watched that first video back uh, a few weeks ago now, it showed you characters moving around on the screen, but they didn't have any hair because that is lit added later down on Pixar's pipeline. They have one or they have several people working on those simple things like hair. So this one shows you how they do add the hair and how they rig the body to work and make it stiff and things like that. So here you will practice that. And this one you don't have to do, but you're more than welcome to attempt because it does does say it's for grades nine and up. But you can still try it, or at least just watch the videos. You can skip the activity sections and just watch the videos. I just want y'all to be exposed to see what they do. Because you may not know what you want to be when you grow up. But this stuff like this may interest you. Because you now see, like, oh, this stuff's pretty cool. Or, man, this stuff's boring. I don't want to do that. So it's all really how you perceive it and if you would like to do it or not. Okay? And that's really it for this week. It's real short and sweet. I just this one's a lot of just watching videos. There's some activities you can do, um, but remember the hands-on activities won't be until the not next week, but the week after, the week six. So we can do some stuff in class and have fun with all that. All right, guys, that's it. Hope to see you soon.